Оля Лукое by Hans Christian Andersen. Wednesday. How the rain came down outdoors. Hjalmar could hear it in his sleep, and when Оля Лукое opened the window, the water had risen up to the window sill. There was a real lake outside, and a fine ship lay close to the house. If you will sail with me, little Hjalmar, said Ole Lukoe, you can voyage to distant lands tonight and be back again by morning. Immediately Hjalmar stood in his Sunday clothes aboard the splendid ship, and immediately the weather turned glorious as they sailed through the streets and rounded the church. Now everything was a great wild sea. They sailed until land was far out of sight and they saw a flock of storks who also came from home and wanted to travel to warmer climes. These storks flew in line, one behind the other, and they had already flown a long, long way. One of them was so weary that his wings could scarcely carry him on. He was the very last in his line and soon he was left a long way behind the others. Finally, he sank with outstretched wings lower and lower. He made a few more feeble strokes with his wings, but it was no use. Now he touched the ship's rigging with his feet, slid down the sail and landed bang upon the deck. The cabin boy caught him and put him in the chicken coop with the hands, ducks and turkeys. The poor stork stood among them, most dejected. Funny-looking fellow, said all the hands. The turkey gobbler puffed himself as big as ever he could and asked the stork who he was. The ducks backed off and told each other, he's a quack, he's a quack. Now the stork tried to tell them about a hit of Africa, about the pyramids, about the ostrich, how it runs across the desert like a wild horse. But the ducks didn't understand him. They said to each other, don't we all agree that he is a fool? Yes, to be sure, he is a fool, the turkey gobbler gobbled, as if the stork kept silent and thought of his Africa. What beautiful thing legs you've got, said the turkey gobbler. What do they cost a yard? Quack! Quack, quack! The ducks all laughed, but the stork pretended not to hear them. You can laugh too, the gobbler told him, for that was a mighty witty remark. Or was it too deep for you? No, indeed, he isn't very bright. So let's keep on being clever ourselves. The hands cackled. The ducks went quick, quack, quick, quack and it was dreadful to see how they made fun of him among themselves. But Hjalmar opened the back door of the chicken coop and called to the stork. He hopped out on the deck. He was rested now, and he seemed to nod to Hjalmar to thank him. Then he spread his wings and flew away to the warm countries. But the hens clucked and the ducks quacked and the turkey gobbler's face turned fiery red. Tomorrow we will make soup out of you, said Hjalmar. With these words he woke up in his own little bed. It was a marvelous journey that Ole Lokoe had taken him on during the night.